Hi, I'm Dan from Jess Records, and this is Mixed Down Mondays. Last week, we talked about reverb. This week, we're going to talk about busing. To bus your audio means to take your audio or a group of audio tracks and send them to a single channel, the benefit of which is your ability to adjust the output of that channel on a single fader. If you're recording an instrument with multiple microphones, like drums for an instance, where I might use anywhere between 3 to 12 microphones on a drum kit, it's beneficial to have all of those bust to a singular channel. That way I can control the output of the entire drum kit on a single fader. You can do this with guitar, or if you have multiple inputs on bass. You can also do this for your vocals and background vocals, where you can have a bus for each one of these groups. You can bus as many different things to a single channel as you'd like. I, rec I recommend you divide it up into manageable groups, like drums, guitar bus, bass bus, vocals, background vocals. Let's take a look at what that looks like. In this session, we can see the drum tracks are being sent to the main output. I want to send these tracks to a bus instead. So I'm going to select them all. And on a Mac and Pro Tools, you can hold Option Shift and it'll affect all the selected tracks. We're going to call this new aux track that we've created Drum Bus. Let's change the color of that to distinguish it. There we go. Now we give playback. I can alter the output of the drums as a whole, giving me the option to blend it better into the mix. We can also add effects to this bus. Let's add an EQ. I really like the Pultec EQ. And just for fun, let's add a compressor as well. Oh, not that one. All right, there we go. Excellent. You can do this with all tracks that you've recorded with multiple microphones or input signals. Bussing also adds organization to your mix. I hope this has been helpful. Thank you for watching Mixdown Mondays.